Hi, I want to show you this cool app for the iPad called Screen Chomp. It's really easy and fun to use. It's basically just a whiteboard. If you have your iPad plugged into the projector in your classroom, then students from all over will be able to see what you're doing. And it's, you can have the freedom of holding a handheld iPad while you're, while you're doing your demonstration. Students can use it real easy. It's fun and, and it's easy to use. You can make announcements. You can email them to people. Or you can post them on Facebook. And, uh, you know, it's just real simple. So I chose not to have a photograph or a map in the background. I wanted the white background so I can demonstrate how this could be used in my classroom. I can use this uh, for a lecture to demonstrate this rule of video composition that's really important. It's called the 180 degree rule. And it's used most often in relationship to a dialogue shot between two people, which we call a two shot. Now the two shot is the most common thing filmed. It's the most common shot in film and TV, two people talking. So it's important to understand the 180 degree rule and it's important to follow it, or at least know if and when it could be broken so that you don't confuse your audience and break the continuity of your film. So in order to demonstrate it with this technology, Screen Chomp, I'll just simply use it as a whiteboard. So I have a person here and a person here. And they're standing there talking to one another. And we're looking down upon them from the bird's eye point of view. Now, person number one and person number two are always going to have the same relationship as to their right and left orientation to the audience as long as I follow the 180 degree rule. And that's important. And let me demonstrate why. Before I discuss the 180 degree rule, let's, let's refer to what that means. A circle has 360 degrees, if we remember that from our simple geometry class. 360 degrees makes a circle. And that's important to know that before we discuss the 180 degree rule. So, how does this make sense in a dialogue shot? Well, first let's discuss the line of action in this shot. Whenever you have two people talking, the line of action is basically a simple line that you could imagine that goes right through the two of them. Okay, so here's my action line. Now, if I probably want to shoot them from my, a main angle where I can see the two of them talking, so this might be right here. When I do that, person number one is on the right, and person number two is on the left, as far as the audience's point of view goes. I can move the camera over here and do an over-the-shoulder point of view shot, which allows me to do close-ups and get some expression of person number one here and also allows me to kind of get the point of view um, of what's going on from person number two while number one might be talking. I can get the reactions to number one num while number two is talking by, by placing the camera over here and that can be a very effective placement of the camera. I can do the same thing obviously over here. I can move the camera anywhere on this side of the action line and when I do, no matter where the camera is placed, Person number one is going to be on the right, and person number two is going to be on the left. The audience is comfortable with that. The other thing to consider is when we are using this perspective, whatever could be on the background over here, the audience knows what that is. Okay. So this is the safe zone anywhere on this half of the circle. Which is why it's called the 180 degree rule, because 180 degrees is a half of a circle. What happens when we cross the line and we go over here? That's a big no-no. We do not want to cross the line. If I put a camera over here, anywhere over here, and I, and I look at these two people having their dialogue, what happens is person number one is now on the left and person number two is now on the right as far as the perspective of the audience is concerned and they may think that there's been a break in continuity they may think that you've jumped in time or they could possibly think that uh, you're in a new location on a different day and who knows because they've never seen this background before and they've never seen the two characters in the relationship that they are now because you've caused them to swap and change places in their perspective. So, the important thing to remember is, whenever you're shooting two people talking, don't cross the line. Okay? And that's the 180 degree loop rule.
And this is Screen Chomp. Check it out. Thanks. Bye.